cheese on bread. You and say the here again. Tell the people what we're doing today. Yeah, we're disassembling the RB20E and looking for a bigger piston size out of the RB30, maybe, if it works out. So we're gonna use a RB20 DET uh, crank yep. with RB30 pistons and RB20 DET rods. Yeah. Yeah, that is the goal right now. Because yeah. we wanted to verify the cut to see because of the, because there's a two valve and then a four valve cut. Yeah. And Rob is just doing some measuring. Uh, I would say 68.5 should work out right there. Looking good. Yeah, we can do that. So, but then it's not anymore a uh, 20, maybe more like a 22. RB22? Yeah. Oh yeah, single cam? Yep. Make some haters hate. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Ooh, turbo time. But we, we, we won't get the power I want out of the GTR turbo, but we'll get it out of a, uh, I don't know, like a... Yeah. 55 like Let's do a 5858. 58. Yeah, 5858 sounds good. Yeah. It's not too big, but it's not too small. Yeah. And it's kind of like it right in that in between. Yeah. Should work out. This is that side and stuff. Yeah. So, that's what we're that's where we're at right now today and uh it's going to continue on the 500 horsepower journey build. We're still got to pull the crank. And then I have some crank shots that we can slip in and kind of double check some measurements. Yep. So good. we're going to continue this video of disassembling the RB20E to make some power. Yep. All right. We're going to open up the bottom. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's only like these, the front cylinders. Weird. The back ones? Nothing. So it looks like, what, one, two, no. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I get some more cardboard. Yep. And then, uh, but the RB20E does not have a girdle. This, would you consider this a girdle or no? Mm, just like. Brace? Yeah, it's just on one and two. That's what, six? Uh, yeah, six. So four. All right, let's get some more cardboard and we can turn it over and let that drop. All right. Yeah. So, tell the people what we have here. Yeah, we just got the RB20 DGT crank inside the RB20 E block. Mm -hmm. The uh, main bearings fit perfectly. And now we just found out that the RB20 DGT rod bearings are like three mils bigger than the rb20e ones so drop in a rb20 DET crank use rods and pistons out of an uh, rb20 DET and you're good to go but this also confirms that we can use like a 25 or 26 yeah. if you if you yeah. wanted to yeah. you just have to have uh, the right um caps yeah no the caps should, not the caps sorry the bear fit, um Probably like the uh, bigger throw of the 25 and 26 probably collide with the housing. The housing? Like, yeah. You see when I when I rotate it like there. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I, I see what you're saying. Put in like a finger. Yeah. So we would have to check. So yeah. hold on. This is uh, what is this? Seven, six, six. five, and four. Yeah. Uh, make four. sure. Yeah. This is the four. That's, yeah, that should be right on the money. Yeah, and we're gonna reuse all the RB20E um, main caps. Yep. Yep. So yeah, so this is our solution because to get custom pistons is very expensive, and you have yeah. to do a group buy. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's a pretty good and cheap solution. Yeah. So I mean, I got another crank. And another block, so Perfect. you know, might do both at the same time and get it tapped for turbo and stuff like that. So yeah, so if you have any questions uh, in the group, ask this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this was his idea, but we're gonna get this. We're gonna order up the pistons and rods 
to go along with all of this to make sure that it fits. So it's gonna be like a what, a 2.2? Uh, yeah, maybe something like that. Uh, if the walls are thick enough to accept the uh, 86 millimeter uh, thickness, and then we should be like somewhere in between 2.2 and 2.3. Around that yeah, because we're going to use RB30 um, pistons just because of the way they're cut for the single cam. So we're going to go with single cam to single cam. That way we can use the RB20 uh, e, no, DET rods um, to make it happen. So we're making progress. It's slow progress, but we're, we're getting there. Yep. And I mean, they're, these blocks are so plentiful why not use them because yeah. over like i have a couple of det blocks but i want to to make sure that we can reuse this block if you have the resources to build it yeah. right because i've looked we talked about this last night and we're trying to figure out different ways to make it affordable as well yeah, so I think that's a pretty good way to make it affordable yeah yeah so everything fits everything looks good I'm at exciting stuff. Yes. So. Yeah, we gotta get a tool for that. Yep. All right. Cool. Anything else you want to say to the group? No. All right. Wow. All right. Talk to you guys later.